Here is a leather case and flashlight you will really like. It is easy to make and very useful. Join me now and we will show you how to do it yourself. Everything you need to complete this flashlight case is included in the kit. You have vegetable tan pre-cut, pre-punched leather parts. You've got the lace to put it together, a carabiner to fasten it to your belt, and a flashlight that fits in the case. It also comes with an instruction sheet on how to assemble the kit. We will start by dampening our front piece with water and I'll dampen it quite well but not to the point where it's soggy and then we'll wait a minute or two for the water to soak in. My leather is beginning to return to its natural color so now is a good time to do my tooling. I'll start with a camouflage tool and I'll just stamp a border along the row of holes as you can see. Now I will turn it and do the same thing to the other side. I have decided to stamp my friend Dave's name on here so I have lined up my letters and then I will stamp them as you can see. Now my piece is ready to apply finish. To start my finishing I'm going to apply some uh, clear finish with a brush as you can see. This finish is EcoFlow Super Sheen finish. And I'll make sure that I get real good coverage and after it dries I will apply a second coat and allow that to dry. After the Super Sheen has dried thoroughly, we will apply EcoFlow Highlight Finish and we will use the Briar Brown color. It works best to apply the highlight with a dauber as you can see me doing here. And we will make sure that we get down in all of the deep areas where we have done our stamping and where we have used the alphabet stamps. Then we will wipe it off with a clean paper towel. And as you can see, the area where we had applied the super sheen now stands out in bold relief. And now we will apply the highlight finish to the other piece just the way we did with the smaller piece. And we will again wipe it off with a paper towel. After you have tied a knot in the end of your lace, now you can start by coming from the inside out on the top hole, place the front part over the second hole and place down through. Now we can come up through the next hole. and we will continue lacing. Now at this point in time we will fold the other piece back 
and then we will go through after we have matched up this piece with the bottom holes we'll now come through three layers of leather we'll pull it tight we will turn it over and come down from the front to the back going through all three thicknesses of the leather Now from the back to the front, through all three thicknesses. And we will continue lacing around the bottom. Lacing the two parts together. When we get to the other side, we'll now fold the front part until the, until the holes match up. And then we will take our lace and we'll go through all three thicknesses. Pull it up tight. Now we will come from the inside out through all three thicknesses and we will pull it tight now we will go down through all three thicknesses pull it tight and now we will go over the end here and through the two thicknesses And we will now continue lacing. When you get to the last hole, we'll go over the top, as you can see. And then we will tie another overhand knot as close as we can to that hole. After we have secured the end of the lace over here with an overhand knot, we'll now fold a length of it about uh, 10 inches long, and we will tie an overhand knot in both strands, as you can see, forming a loop. And then we can Fasten our carabiner to that loop. And now it's just a matter of turning it over, cutting the lace off short, and your flashlight case is all ready for the flashlight.